What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do night mode for our text editor with Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at creating a night mode. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, it is Monday morning here in Vegas, and today we're going to take a look at our text editor, and we're going to create this little night mode thing so it turns it dark or turns it back to normal again. So uh, it's sort of a common thing in apps. You have an, uh, a dark mode and a light mode. Uh, so that's what we're going to look at in this video. Not particularly complicated, but a couple of little weird things that we need to look at. Uh, for instance, these menus, we can change the color, but this menu bar up at the top, we can't. Uh, things like that. So let's head over here to our code. I'm in textpad.py. We're using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And if you haven't seen the last few videos where I created all this, check the uh, comment section below for a link to the playlist to see all of that. So let's kind of scroll down here to our menu section and we need to create a new menu. So I'm just gonna, let's see, we need a couple of commands. So I'm just gonna copy all of this and let's come down here and paste this in and let's create a uh, an options menu. So instead of file menu, this will be options menu. And let me just copy this. So duh, 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 my menu, add cascade, and this will be options. And the menu will be our options underscore menu right here. And then let's see, this will be options menu. This will be options menu. And for our labels, let's go um, night mode on. And for this one, let's go night mode off. And let's give these a couple of commands. So let's call this one night underscore on. And we'll call this one night underscore off. So, okay, let's go ahead and create these functions. So let's head over to our functions section here and kind of scroll down to the bottom of the list. There we go. Now let's go turn on night mode. And let's define this function as night mode on. And let's, let's pass. And then let's also turn off night mode. And this will be, whoops, and this will be define night off. And for now we can just pass. So let's go ahead and save this and just make sure this worked. So let's go Python textpad.py. Come over here, let's see, we have our options menu, night mode on and off. Okay, nothing happens when we click them, but at least they're showing up here in our menu uh, bar thing at the top here. So, okay, so far so good. So back over to the code. So now for night mode on, we need to decide what in our uh, our app we want to change the colors of. So if we come back here real quick and just kind of look at this, we have all these buttons we probably want to change the colors of. We have this the whole big text box that we want to change the color of, the status bar down here, and uh, these options are right, in the menu drop downs as well. So, okay. Let's just kind of start knocking these out. So the first thing we probably want to do is the main app itself, right? So that's going to be root.config. And then we just want to set the background color to what? Well, let's come up here and let's define some colors that we're going to use. So we're going to use the same few colors throughout all these. So instead of typing out those colors every time, let's make them into variables. So if we want to change the variables in the future, we can change them once and they'll reflect on everything. So let's call this the main underscore color and we'll set that equal to probably just black, right? So the hex color code for black is hashtag 000000, or you could just type in black in there as well. So then we can come down here and go main underscore color and then that should do that. So let's just knock out a couple of more colors. So I'm gonna call this second underscore color and that's gonna be Hashtag three, seven, three, seven, three, seven. This is like a dark gray color. And then finally, let's, we want a text color for like the text in the, maybe the drop down menus or the status bar or the text box itself or text widget. 
And uh, I'm just gonna say green for now. And you can make these colors anything you want. So, okay, so we've got the root, the main app itself. Let's also knock out our status bar because we know that's something we are gonna wanna change the color of for sure. So again, we could just go BG equals, and we probably want this to be main underscore color. And then we also want the text of the status bar to change too. So that's the foreground color. And we'll change that to text underscore color, which is this green. So, okay, let's just save this and see if this is kind of working the way we hope it is so far. So we can pull this over, night mode, boom. So we could see the outside of this turns black, the status bar is black, the status text is green. And okay, so far so good. Let's see what else next. Let's, um, well, we could change the text or we change this big white thing or the big white of the text box itself. So let's do that real quick. So we could just go, that's my underscore text dot config. And these are almost always gonna be dot config, change the background color to, we want this to be second underscore color. So let's save this and run it, see how that looks. Pull this over, options, night mode on. So this big box turns sort of dark gray. I don't know, I like that. I'm, I'm bad at color, so you pick the colors that you want. Go to a color picker website and get the hex codes and, and make this look exactly what you want. I'm just showing you how to change the colors. Like I said, I'm a bad design person, so <laughs> I'm bad at this. So, okay, so let's now let's do these buttons and this frame underneath here, though. So head back over to our code. And if we remember, that's the status, or that's the toolbar frame, so we can go tool, underscore bar frame dot config and set the BG to probably what main color. Yeah. Now let's go tool bar buttons. And let's see, we had the bold underscore button. We had the italics underscore button. We had the redo button. We had the undo button. And we had the color underscore text underscore button. And then let's see, is that all? I think so. So we want to dot config each of these and we want the BG color to be, let's make this the second color as well. All right, so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it in a bunch of times. So let's save this and run it, see if that worked. So, Night mode on, okay, so these colors changed, and the text is black, maybe we wanna keep that. Um, that's probably fine. If you wanna change the colors to something else, just set the foreground for those buttons to whatever color you want, and uh, that should be good to go. So, okay, so far that's looking good. Now, let's see. Like I said, this menu bar here, this whole thing here, we can't really change the color of that. That's just sort of a default Windows color. So, whatever your Windows default menu color is, that's what that's gonna be. And it's unfortunate that we can't change that. It's kind of kind of weird, but I mean, you could probably change it in your Windows settings, maybe. It has nothing to do with Python or Kinter, but uh, that's about the only way you can do that. So, but we can change these guys, these drop down menus. So file, edit, color, and options. So we head back over here and let's go uh, file menu colors. And that's gonna be file underscore menu and edit underscore menu and color underscore menu and options underscore menu. And we wanna just, again, dot config these guys and set the background color to like, to our main color. And let's also change the foreground color uh, to our text color. Okay, so we can just copy this and paste, paste, paste. Save all those things. Run this guy again. There you go. Night mode on. And now we have sort of drop downs. And okay, so but I think that's basically good enough. Uh, like I said, you could tinker with these colors, change the things that you want to different colors. And uh, that's all there is to that. So let's just go ahead and copy all of this stuff and come down to our night off and just paste it in. And now we can just change these colors back. So. Uh, our main color, I'm just gonna set this as the system button face color. And I think also for the secondary color, I'm gonna change that to as well. And the text color we want here is black. We've looked at this system button face color before. Uh, it's just a basic default color. You can change these colors to gray or whatever color you want as your default colors. Uh, and let's see, but down here for our, let's see, text box here. 
instead of second color, we'll just change this back to white because we don't want it to be system button face color. Uh, so that'll work. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. See what that did. So now we can go options, night mode on. We've got different things. We can know night mode off. Boom, it goes back. And okay. So sort of a silly thing. I don't really understand night mode, but some people like it. <laughs> so if you want to play around with this and make it look cool and do different things, this is just sort of a quick and easy way to do that. Not all that sophisticated, but it will get the job done. Uh, the weird thing, unfortunately, like I said, we can't change this menu bar right here, this sort of light strip. Like I said, it's just the way Windows is. There may be some themey way you can do it using Kinter themes. We haven't really looked at those yet. Maybe we'll look at those in the future if people are interested in that. Uh, but uh, for now, that's just how we're gonna leave it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.